First of all, I just want to thank you guys for offering to help us test the site and give us your feedback as we go through this. Um, Chris and I have been working on this for a long time and pretty happy with the way things are coming, but it can always uh, be just a little bit better. So I want to give you a little bit of overview of what we're doing, some things to look for, and just give you a tour of the site. So when you're in there, you can uh, sort of know what you're looking at. First of all, I just want to give you an overview of what Emma does. Emma is your educational money management assistant. She helps you plan, budget, monitor, and educate yourselves. We figure these are the four key components to making better financial decisions and knowing exactly where you are in relation to your finances. Planning, Emma helps you set a long-term financial plan. One of the biggest things we find when people do planning is that they don't have enough money to meet all their goals. So we have budgeting software built in that will help you identify where your money's going and help you to better monitor it so you can efficiently spend your money and make sure you're spending it where you want to. We help you monitor along the way, give you all the information you need to stay on track with your goals and one of the key things we believe in is education. We have a video library that's very easy to understand tutorials on everything from wills to retirement funding to education funding. We want to give people the information they need to make the best financial choices based on their situation. Uh, with that being said, I'll go ahead and log in. The process for setting up account is a little bit different. You will actually walk through a brief questionnaire after you sign up. And it'll ask you um, to enter your assets, your bills, and your liabilities. It takes about probably about 20 to 30 minutes what the way it is right now. And some of this may be changing over time as we um, make some uh, additions and subtractions from the site. But it'll take 20 to 35 minutes, and then you're into the site. What we have right now, I've already gone through my initial questionnaire and entered that data. It's taken me to the planning homepage. This planning homepage is divided into a couple different sections. We've identified five major areas that people need. Uh, to do a little bit of planning on you know, disability insurance, education funding, emergency funding, life insurance, and retirement. And up here, we have an overall tab on where you go, where you stand in regards to your finances. For instance, uh, let's go to retirement. Right now, what I've done is I've already entered my uh, questionnaire. I will come in here and watch some videos. The videos will be prompted uh, for you to watch them. They are paired with the questions we need to get to calculate your retirement needs. This is where we are, we're gonna start. We ask what age you wanna retire, how much income do you wanna have, uh, your life expectancy, um, minus social security income you have. So basically everything we need to calculate your life insurance, I'm sorry, your retirement needs. It's very simple, intuitive, um, and question and answers. So you don't have to think a whole lot about it. And this is all paired with videos um, that you should watch before you go in and actually enter this information to tell you what should you be thinking about as you're going through this process. So we've gone through that process, entered where we want to be on retirement. It's going to show me where I stand. This is a combination of the information you inputted at the beginning during your questionnaire. It stores all that and it locates the information it needs in your own personal file to calculate your needs. For instance, you can see based on the information I've given, I'm 63% of the way towards my funding goal. So it gives me an idea of where I stand visually in relation to where I want to go. One of the cool things we have in here is you can add goals. So for instance, we've identified that I have a shortfall in my retirement planning. I need to do something about that. So I start out, I can start out by click, clicking a couple. Well, I need to understand a little bit more about what I need to do for my retirement. So I'm going to check that. I'm going to assign it a date saying, you know what, I would like to have that done by March 18th. So I'm add that. And it's going to pull through to my page, and it actually pulls through to another site, part of the site where it's on a calendar too. So it sort of keeps you on track with where you're going. So each one of those five pages that I talked about, retirement, uh, life insurance, emergency fund, all have their own page that are very similarly structured. And of course, one of the things is most people don't have enough money to fund all of their needs. So then you go to the budgeting software, and again, this is pretty easy because you've entered a lot of stat already when you first did your questionnaire in that uh, 20 to 35 minute period. Pulls through, this is the brief snapshot of where you are, shows your income, um, sort of shows your expenses and your bills last time you were in there. And it also has a your net worth over here showing sort of the assets you have and some of the liabilities. Down here it's got a calendar for you too so you can sort of see that okay on the 11th I'm going to have something due. And this is going to be a combination of the bills you have due as well as any of the tasks you assigned yourself uh, for the for the goal, such as we did in retirement. So, all right, so all this information looks good. I'm gonna go into my budget and go ahead and start updating it. So this spits out all the 
categories I set up saying, you know, I have an electric bill, I have grocery store bill, and I set some goals when I do my initial questionnaire saying I would like to spend $300 a month um, at the grocery store, maybe $100 on fast food, $35 a month on cleaning supplies. So I do every week or two weeks, month, whatever is decided by the user. They come in here update it. So, okay, I got my utility bill this time, and it was $125, so that's taken care of. Went to the grocery store. Um, I'd already spent $268 this month because I'd come in here and updated earlier. I went ahead and spent another $50 this week. So you can see now I'm $18 over. Um, restaurant, fast food, $90. So, you know, I'm still adds that to what was already in there. I spent $129 this month. So far, I'm $29 over. So you can see I haven't done very well this month. We've been adding up um, a lot more than we should on these categories. And down here, it just shows me, all right, based on what I'm doing right now, if I keep this up at the end of the year, I'm going to be almost $6,000 over my budget. So it's pretty easy to maintain every month, every two weeks, every week, whatever you choose to come and set this up is we'll send you a reminder saying it's now time to go update your budget. You update what you've spent since last time you come in here keep track of it very easily and the goal of this is to narrow down this category over time so you can get more precise and figure out where exactly your money's going and then direct it as appropriately as you'd like to so that gives you an idea of the budgeting page give you an overview let's go to the library now so give you an idea of what the library looks like we have about 85 different videos in here let me go ahead and um, show you one that is in there so I chose life insurance. I want to learn something about life insurance today. Come in here. I got my topics I can choose from. Say, okay, I want to learn about life insurance basics. Let's talk about permanent life insurance. In this section, we will so discuss permanent we'll life ahead insurance. And it's got a video here. They're all about two to three minutes long. Uh, very simple. Um, and we have it a couple different ways. We have the video there. So if you you know want to sit back and just sort of let somebody tell you what you need to know. That's no problem. It can take care of that. Also, if you're more of um, one who, one person who likes to read and get a little better idea that way, you can expand it and read the whole text below there as well. You can go ahead and say that uh, you wanted to watch this later. You added a bookmark saying that I need to watch this later and get a little more information. Go ahead and save that. Let's talk here, about so permanent sort of life insurance. In this section, through the site, um, there are some other bells and whistles you can get in there and see as far as email notifications um, that sort of go in step with the calendar. It'll email you when you have bills due and uh, when you have tasks due. So it's kind of a hands-off system. You set it up, you do a little bit of work monitoring over time, and you go ahead and uh, just respond to the emails that you had already set in place, and you send you track your money very easily couple things um, we'd like you to really look out for if you wouldn't mind when you're in there is any additional categories if you're setting up your bills and expenses if you see categories that aren't in there let us know just shoot us an email or make a list of them they're very easy for us to add in um, everybody's situation is different so we kinda just want to have a little bit of everything in there for everybody if you see stuff that doesn't make sense you get to a point and you're confused about where you should go that's a good thing to note for us so we can address it and make sure it's a little bit clearer um, right now, getting around the site is still probably a little bit rough because we haven't identified all the, the glitches. We're sort of hoping that you guys can help us a little bit with that. Um, and any other general feedback that you want to give us as far as stuff you may want to see in the site or stuff that isn't working, let us know. Um, there are certain things we can do at this point and certain things we cannot do. So ask us to add on whatever you can. If we can't do it now, we'll make a note of it and try and do it later. So again, we want to thank you for your help. I uh, look forward to hearing back any feedback you have. Like I said, Chris and I are pretty, pretty excited about it. We think it's starting to come along. It's not perfect yet, but it will be heading that way, hopefully with your help. Uh, give us a call or shoot us an email with any information or any questions. Thanks a lot.